right. Hi guys. So I'm on the pit. Tilly, come, come. Tilly, wait. Okay. And uh, I'm just gonna let Tilly off now to have a run. And I'm gonna go and collect the uh, dried seed heads of Rose Bay and possibly some teasel. Make good firelight in Tinder. And uh, basically, I'll show you this patch. This is my patch. Normally, that's blackberries and rose bay. Rose bay is edible. Fireweed is the other one. But uh, if you can have a look at the uh, seed heads, dry and delicious for tinder. So I collect quite a bit of this during the winter months. It just makes excellent bird's nest. So uh, yeah, great stuff. And I know for some teasels as well, so I'm gonna go and get those. I don't use them in the traditional manner of combing through natural cordage. No, I haven't quite sussed that yet, quite prickly. So I'm gonna go and get myself some of that, put some of this in my, my pouch, stalks and all. But yeah, it's a beautiful day here in Wales. It's snowed, it's absolutely lovely. And the sun is glistening on the snow. It's gorgeous. But um, I use this pit quite a lot for uh, wild edibles. There's quite a bot bit knocking about. And plenty of birch polypore as well. Or razor strop fungus, whichever way you want to say it. But uh, so, coming up to the old teasels. Here they are in all their glory. Prickly. Should wear gloves really, but I didn't bring any. It's so nice, so grab a few of them. Teasels. Get them in my pouch. And any other seed heads I see that I think, ooh, they look nice. So even the old uh, lilac bush seeds are great stuff. Get them in the dry. Good kindling, good tinder, I mean. Till. So I'm having a lovely day out. I'll probably be out a couple of hours. Depends if my uh, moccasins bear up and my thermal socks. I've got thermal undies on as well. From Peacocks, actually, really good. Thinking of investing in um, some kind of snow soup hammocking in uh, low temperatures. You can get the uh, sleeping bag suits, but I haven't heard very good reports about the uh, the temperatures, that, you know, sub-zero temperatures they go go down to, and they're very expensive for 100 pounds. So I couldn't justify that. But a snowsuit might be something worth thinking about. Anyway, I'll leave you to it, guys. Have a good one. Bye for now.